Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're super excited to introduce you to a new ride stabilization product called Seakeeper Ride. So what is Seakeeper Ride, you might ask? It's a first of its kind vessel attitude control system that eliminates 70% of pitch and roll while the vessel is underway. Seakeeper Ride is not a trim tap system. It is so much more. Today, we're gonna test it out on our brand new 255 FSH. We're gonna show you just how much improvement you'll see by adding a Seakeeper Ride to your boat. Let's get into it. Wanna take this time to thank Seakeeper Ride for installing a Seakeeper Ride 450 on our Yamaha. Uh, they did that at no charge to us. They installed it and everything. So uh, full transparency, they did not pay for our endorsement. So what you're going to see today, it's going to be our honest feedback of what we feel like we re received, value received for the installation of this product. Hopefully when we're done with this, you'll be able to determine for yourself, is it something you want to put on your boat? We are back at the shop now from our sea trial and uh, today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We want to do this uh, feedback portion more Q&A style. I've got my cameraman Jason with me today. Say hello Jason. Hello. All right and Jason is going to basically ask a set of questions we thought would be common questions that you might ask after watching this video. And by the way if I don't address a question that you have just hit us in the comments below. We'd be glad to answer those questions for you. Uh, so without further ado, Jason, fire away, man. Questions. Everyone's asking, how did it feel? Uh, I will say this. I, when I read the stats, 70% reduction in pitch and roll while underway, I didn't think that was something that you could actually quantify or feel, uh, at least in a, not in a real notable way, because you hear people talk about these things, sales pitchy type things. But after being on the boat, uh, both in, with the system on, system off, uh, I can honestly tell you it is night and day difference with the system on uh, so much so jason you can probably speak to this when the system is off you find yourself grabbing for the button please turn it back on <laughs> because it, you feel like wow uh it is such a relief to get all that extra uh comfort back so yeah absolutely 100 percent, totally worth it i definitely agree all right so second question would you say that the sea keeper ride would make boating more enjoyable Yes, absolutely. That, that's kind of what Jet Boat Pilot's all about, by the way, is making you get more out of your boat, helping you get more out of your boat. Um, I would say that with a Sea Keeper ride, you're going to find the ride is more pleasant. Uh, people on the boat are going to enjoy the ride more. Uh, you're going to find that in all kinds of conditions, the ride just is better. Uh, you'll also find you'll be able to go out on the boat more often because on some days that you might have said, eh, let's pass today, the water's a little bit rougher. Uh, with the ride system, it's not a big deal. Were there unexpected benefits that you noticed besides the improved ride? Yeah, so uh, we saw with the ride system turned on in manual mode and the both of the devices kind of all the way down manually, all the way down, uh, we were able to punch it and the whole shot was instantaneous and we felt like the the bow rise was completely gone. So we show it with and without, we tested both with and without uh, the system active, uh, one with no, no deflection at all, and one with the system completely all the way down. And you'll see in the video uh, how it's just a lot more bow rise with the system off versus with the system on, man, it just no bow rise at all. So I thought that was really cool. Um, also, I found that when I'm driving with the system on, I'm steering a lot less. Uh, so uh, just easier to get where you're going. There's less that you have to think about, less uh, counteracting forces when the boat's maybe been pushing from one side to another, the boat pitches or rolls a lot less. So you find yourself steering a lot less. So that was huge. Felt like the boat had a little higher top speed, uh, which is interesting because I didn't really expect that to happen. Uh, but the people at Seakeeper Ride say that the system produces lift. 
So you have less friction, less drag, means higher speed, and better fuel economy. Before, with the system off, if we would run into rough waves, I would have to pull the throttle back. Uh, and so I felt like if I wanted to run 30 miles an hour, I maybe could only run 20. Uh, but with the system on, we were just plowing through it at 30 miles an hour like it wasn't even a thing. Uh, so get to your destination a lot faster uh, with the system on than maybe with the system off. All right, here's a big one. Is the Seakeeper ride worth the investment? Yes, 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 good question. Uh, I think that the Seakeeper ride is worth every bit of what they're asking for with the system and more. Uh, and before you go saying, uh, that's an expensive system and that's really not true, I will tell you this. There is really no price uh, that I think I could pay for comfort. Comfort is a big deal to me. I don't want to feel the constant jarring my family. I don't want to feel like they're constantly being punished by the waves. And so, um, yeah, I think that it's ab absolutely worth it at any point. Now, if you don't boat a lot, I'll, I'll give this caveat. If you're not boating a lot, uh, or if you're not boating on big water, um, you know, Gulf waters, ocean waters, larger lakes, places where you see rough water, uh, regularly, uh, it may not necessarily be the thing for you. There's just no price, I think, uh, that's too much to ask for a system like this. And I think that considering what it does, it is well worth the investment for sure. So speaking of the investment, what does the system cost after it's installed? Depending on the boat, uh, it can range anywhere from about 6,500 bucks up to around $8,000, depending on what you already have on your boat. For instance, a, a 255 FSH like this Yamaha, it's already gonna come with a SEMRAD and it doesn't really require a lot of extra stuff. You just buy the system, uh, buy the necessary components to go with it. Uh, jet boat pilot supplies all those things with the kit. Um, and then uh, we install it for you. Um, if you don't have a built-in MFD like this, you're gonna have to buy an MFD, uh, possibly a GPS antenna and those things. So um, yeah, range 6,500 to 8,000 installed plus tax. And which jet boats are compatible with Seakeeper Ride? Thus far, we have found that any 25-foot Yamaha is compatible. Uh, any 22-foot Yamaha is compatible, but I also want to put a caveat in there. If you have the built-in wake booster system, we are not quite sure just yet if that is compatible. So for now, that's probably a no. We will amend that later. Uh, we are evaluating 24s, and we believe we have a solution to make 24s also compatible with Seakeeper Ride. And we're working on some solutions for 21. So we're still early on in our development, but we believe when it's all said and done, most every 21 through 25 foot Yamaha will be uh, compatible. 27s, by the way, are not compatible. We did go ahead and find that out. So I'm sorry about that for you 27 foot owners. Should potential Seakeeper Ride buyers consider a DIY install or should they have it installed professionally? I would say most people are gonna want this installed by a professional, by someone who's uh, certified. Um, that does not mean that it cannot be done by a DIY guy, uh, but I think it is best to let the professionals do this install. It is very technical. It is very um, extensive, the number of tools that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need to have a, a gun to deliver the uh, adhesive, which is a special purchase. You'll use it once ever. Uh, torque wrench, you know, just all the things that are gonna be required. So I would say let a professional do it. If you don't have access to a professional, you just don't have any options, just do it yourself or nothing. We did make an install video that can show you the steps that we took to install on this 255. So you wanna watch that video, see what you think, obviously comment below or email us. We can answer questions about that further. Why should buyers choose Seakeeper Ride over the competitors? Good question. I think that for the most part, uh, Seakeeper Ride uses a uh, lifting system uh, with their blades in the back. So when the, the blades are deployed, they deploy momentarily, they create a little bit of lift. It's not a drag. Uh, not an obstruction, it's a lift force. Uh, so you're not gonna see things like uh, loss of speed, loss of uh, fuel economy, those sorts of things. Uh, and because the system is moving so fast, it's really not in the water for long. It only goes down, does its job and comes back. So you'll see for the most part, it's trying to stay out of the water. It deploys when it needs to make a correction and it comes back. My understanding is of the other systems is they pretty much stay in the water uh, all the time and they don't move quite as fast as the sea keeper. So the goal of real-time pitch and roll management is accomplished by the Seakeeper Ride. Uh, it's not necessarily a real-time uh, solution for other brands. So yes, it does cost more, but what it delivers, I believe, is uh, far and above what the other competitors are, are delivering. Jetpo Pilot is now a Seakeeper Ride dealer and installer. So why did we choose to partner with Seakeeper? Yeah, good question. So I think uh, most important thing that Jetboat Pilot uh, has always set out to do 
uh, is to serve you, our customer, giving you the opportunity to get more out of boating uh, and, and enjoy boating more. And this product aligns with our most core principles. Uh, it's exactly what it does. It gives you an opportunity to go boating more often. You have more fun on the boat. Everyone enjoys it more, so it's totally in line. Um, we feel like this is a great partnership and we're hoping to see it grow. Uh, we hope to see other jet boat owners adopt this uh, technology and use it for themselves. Um, and, and if you have questions uh, about any of this that we've talked about in this question and answer section, please, once again, hit us in the comments below. We'd love to talk to you about these things. We're super excited about Seakeeper Ride. They've done a wonderful job. They really have. This technology has been out for about a year now. This is uh, April, getting close to be April 2024. So I think they introduced it in, at Miami Boat Show in 2023. Uh, so tons of positive reviews online. Check out the forum groups, chat groups. Hit us up. We're always there. Ask others what they think. We'll be here plugging along, installing them on different jet boats a long time here. Uh, so uh, if you have questions, again, we'd love to answer those questions for you. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it was helpful to you. And if this one was helpful, check this one out.